after studying this module you shall be able to know the various types of risk learn the correlation between the different types of risk identify the factors affecting risk analyze the nature of risk To begin with, a project cannot be appraised unless various types of risk are taken into consideration. In fact, the viability of the project cannot be judged unless all these risks are considered. For example, if an entrepreneur plans to set up a new plant to manufacture pharmaceutical drugs, the very first requirement will always be the funds. These funds may have to be arranged through loans also. The loan will always carry a rate of interest which will be the cost for the project. The rate of interest can be fixed or fluctuating. In both the circumstances, there will be a risk. Now, let us assume that when the project was thought upon, there was immense demand for the product. But it may be possible that by the time the product is commercially produced, it has lost demand or new competitors have come up that constitutes market risk. The demand may also have fallen due to a better product coming up due to innovation, which is known as technical risk. Now, sometimes the government authorities may also change certain regulations affecting the project. For example, there could be a change in tax rates or the drug may be banned. Such kind of risk is known as regulatory risk. Future cannot be predicted with certainty. Therefore, all these risks, that is financial risk, market risk, technical risk, must be considered while undertaking any project. Now, we will discuss about uncertainty. The decision of undertaking a project is taken at the current point of time. However, what will be the outcome of the decision will be known in future. There is always an element of uncertainty in the future. It is impossible to deal with uncertainty in a perfect manner, although various approaches may help to arrive at some rational decision. It is difficult to deal with uncertainties in a perfect manner, there is always a risk. There is a very thin line between uncertainty and risk. Some economists contend that when probabilities could be assigned to various outcomes, it is called as risk and where no probability distribution can be constructed, it is referred to as uncertainty. It is important to understand the nature of uncertainties. They must also be quantified and weighted. Its impact on the project must also be measured. There are majorly three types of uncertainties. State uncertainty, effect uncertainty, response uncertainty. The first one is the state uncertainty. This refers to what might happen in the environment around us. For example, if there is a sudden epidemic in the environment, there will be a change in the environment. The second will be the effect uncertainty. How a change in state of environment impact or cause some effect on a firm. Continuing with the above example, the spread of epidemic in the society will adversely affect the entertainment firm, whereas it will pose an opportunity to a pharmaceutical company. The third uncertainty is regarding how a company or a firm affected by the change in the state of an environment responds to the change. Like the pharmaceutical company, may decide to quickly increase production or let the competitors have an advantage. All these different kinds of uncertainties lead to various types of risk. Next, we will discuss about risk. Another way of looking at risk is to analyze 
whether it is a standalone risk, that is, the risk of the project alone or firm risk. A firm's risk is the combination of all the risk of different projects taken up by the firm. When a firm takes up a risky project, the firm's overall risk increases. Besides, there is market risk, also known as systematic risk. The risk that affects the entire market is known as systematic risk. For example, if the project is highly innovative, the project is risky. But if it is a part of a firm which is having stable other projects and this risky project does not constitute a major portion of the firm's total investments, the project can be easily considered. However, if government increases the tax rates, all the projects of the firm and in fact, all the firms in the country will be affected. It is also worth considering that a firm has to take different types of projects. It is sometimes required to take replacement decisions which do not require much deliberation or thought and are less risky. If the need is to replace with better technology, then maybe some time can be spared to think about it. Otherwise, it will be a folly to unnecessarily delay the decision. These decisions are less risky. The second type of project decisions is expansion decisions where the risk increases to some extent. What if increased produce fail to find ready markets? So, these decisions should be taken after careful process. The third decision is diversification decision, where a firm tries to explore unfamiliar territories. This is the most risky of all the decisions. Now, we will discuss about environmental risk. When an organization is operating, it cannot operate in isolation. It is affected by the environment that surrounds it. The environment could be the natural environment, social environment, political environment. The surroundings together create an impact on the organization. Hazard risk. This risk refers to the natural risk and disasters like earthquakes, cyclones, etc. Whenever there is a natural calamity, projects cannot keep on functioning and there is natural stoppage. Even if there are civil disturbances like riots, production might stop. These risks are usually unexpected and cannot be estimated in advance. But these are transferable as these can be insured. Political risk. The state of politics in a country has direct impact on industries. If a country is politically stable, it is good for the industry as there is stability in policies and environment. Political risk cover actions of government and political groups that restrict business transactions resulting in loss of profit or profit potential. It is all the more very common in case of foreign investments. The country where the projects are located has its own way of functioning and running the nation. Some are democratic while some autocratic. The democratic nation has change of government which may bring its own policies and rules. Even if there is no change in the government, its policies may change adversely affecting a company's profitability. The government may impose constraints on the business. In extreme cases, political risk results in confiscation of property or takeover by the government. This type of risk is systematic risk and cannot be avoided because the change will impact all the industries in the country. Most managers take political risk seriously, especially while making overseas investments. Social risk. 
social risk arise when the industries are not acceptable to the society or when something happens in the company that the people living in the society raise their voice against it if companies do not take steps to protect the environment in which they operate they face the risk of resistance and hostility from society and the local people in some cases it may threaten the very existence of the company union carbide in bhopal is one such example now we will be talking about financial risk financial risk have a direct bearing on the profitability of the company it affects the cash flows of the company ability to recover money from customers will have direct impact on the profits of the firm despite these internal factors external factors like change in interest rates and exchange rates also causes financial risk credit risk this may also be called as default risk it occurs when a firm extends credit to its customers and they are unable to meet their liabilities there may be some customers who lose the ability to pay due to some adverse circumstances for example insolvency but some have the capacity to pay but are unwilling to pay the degree of risk can still be quantified in case of first category of customers but it is very difficult to quantify the uncertainty in case of the second class interest rate risk interest rate risk is the risk of adverse impact on a firm due to the change in interest rates it has double impact on the financial figures of a firm on the one hand it affects the income of the firm and on the other hand it changes the value of its assets and liabilities for example if a firm has taken a floating rate loan and rate of interest goes up from 6% to 7% it will have to pay more interest in the future thereby decreasing its income similarly a firm which has fixed rate assets will lose some value of the asset if the rate of interest goes up interest rate risk become all the more prominent for a firm if it has assets at fixed rate and liability at floating rate or vice versa exchange rate risk this risk is caused due to the fluctuations in the exchange rate the risk is more likely to affect those firms which face foreign currency exposure it may have assets or liabilities in a different currency or a foreign branch but due to interlinkages between different markets all the firms are affected to at least some extent for example if a firm in india has 20000 dollar as payables after 3 months and the current exchange rate of rupees to dollar is rupees 55 the firm has to pay rupees 11 lakh as on today but after 3 months 1 dollar may be available for rupees 60 the firm will now have to pay rupees 12 lakh and this is due to the fluctuation in foreign exchange rates liquidity risk this refers to the inability of the firm to pay its debts a very profitable firm may also face the problem of liquidity if it has blocked its funds in illiquid investments generally this will happen if the firm has mismatch in assets and liabilities if the company has made the mistake of funding of its long term assets through short term borrowings liquidity problem is inevitable next we will talk about operational all things do not always go in a planned manner there are many day to day issues which need to be resolved 
these relate to the implementation of the project a well laid out plan is definitely a must for any activity but actually doing a thing will prop up many questions and left the situations unanswered and not accounted for these are known as operational risk these can broadly be categorized as follows human resource risk scheduling risk compliance risk human resource risk it is the quality of people that ultimately determines the competitiveness of an organization good companies attract good people and have system of retaining and nurturing them in such companies there is never a leadership vacuum on the other hand in poorly managed companies good people hesitate to join those who do join lose motivation get frustrated quickly and leave such companies will find it difficult to exploit the market opportunities best laid projects and plans will also fail to deliver results if not implemented properly human resource is the key to achieve the objectives there is always a risk when right personnel are difficult to hire sometimes most successful companies dwindle because they do not get a proper leader or successor manpower is most difficult to deal in resources as it involves an element of behavioral and psychological aspect scheduling risk projects are made up of numerous smaller activities to be undertaken some of which are required to be done simultaneously while others one after the other there is always a risk that a project may not be properly scheduled non critical activities are undertaken first rather than those which should be carried in priority this may cause project delays and competitive advantages may be lost there is also a risk that activities may wrongly be identified as critical compliance risk more and more importance is placed to the legal compliance and corporate governance high standards are being set in the compliance to protect the interest of the shareholders and creditors illegal and unethical practices and low standards of corporate governance can bring down the reputation of a company and bring down the market capitalization of the company severe penalties will also affect the profitability of the company market risk relate to the forces of market which play a very crucial role in the profits of a firm they include threats like introduction of substitute products entry of new competitors fall in the income of consumers recessionary market conditions etc we will discuss about two types of risk marketing risk and market risk marketing risk to retain their competitive edge companies have to offer products that provide value to the customers if a company does not have a product to sell or if it has a product which is inferior to what competitors are offering it cannot survive in the long run each new product launch involves risk similarly dependence on a few customers also results in risk wrong communication strategies can dilute or harm the image of a brand focusing more on short term objectives may look attractive but may turn out to be risky in the long run the first risk under marketing risk is branding risk brands are considered the most valuable asset of a reputed company but brands are also very vulnerable a small mistake on the part of the company may erode the customer's confidence and loyalties in no time 
Second one is advertising risk. Companies invest huge amount on advertisements, but sometimes the impact of the advertisement may not be as desired. There is huge risk in this. The revenues may not commensurate with the amount spent. The third risk is pricing risk. Sometimes it so happens that a wonderful product is placed in the market, but the pricing goes wrong. Keeping the right price will make the difference between success and failure. Pricing the product is very risky. If the product is overpriced, demand will not be there in right volumes. And if the price is very low, a firm will lose on profitability and it may also be possible that consumer starts perceiving their product as inferior. Market risk. There is always a demand risk. The response of the market to the product is always a matter of risk. In particular, if a new product is launched, how the market will respond to it can never be predicted. The different type of market risk are demand risk, threat of new entrants, threat of substitute product. First risk is demand risk. The demand for the product may vary from season to season or over the period of trade cycles. Building up capacities during high demand, which may remain idle at recession time, can adversely affect the profit of the firm. Sometimes the firm may not be able to estimate the market demand properly. This may be a very risky preposition. Second one is threat of new entrants. In the market, there is always a risk of new competitors joining the business. This will adversely affect the firm as market share might shrink or else extra efforts and cost will have to be incurred on marketing. The third risk is threat of substitute product. Markets also have the risk of producing new products which can replace the existing running products. With so many ways of propagating the new product and making the consumers aware in no time about it, the existing product runs the risk of being wiped out in no time by a better and more efficient product. Now, we will discuss about technology risk. Technological changes can substantially impact any business. It can create and destroy industries. Embracing technology too early can be risky as well as costly affair. Keeping wait and watch policy may also be risky as most of the early movers would have already skimmed the market. Moreover, the period between technological feasibility and commercial viability is a period of suspense and at most uncertainty. Another risk with technology is that the innovation cycles have become shorter, thus making it very risky to make huge investments in the conventional business. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. In this module, we have discussed the importance of a very crucial factor in appraising the project and that is risk. There are some decisions which are by their nature more risky than others. A diversification decision is more risky than an expansion decision which in turn is more risky than a replacement decision. While looking at risk, it must also be considered whether the risk of individual project is to be calculated or the risk of the firm which is undertaking this project as a whole. We also understand here that certain risk cannot be eliminated at all. Some examples of the risk which cannot be eliminated are natural risk like risk of a cyclone or an earthquake. Risk arises from uncertainty in the future. One cannot account for all the possible events that may happen in the future. 
a project's profitability can be affected by many possible changes. The kind of change and its nature determines the kind of risk. As there is variety of changes, there are various types of risk. Understanding the impact of all these risks and forming a right decision after considering them is the ultimate objective. These risks can be financial risk like the credit risk, exchange rate fluctuation risk, interest rate risk, etc. They may be operational risk like managing human resources, having all the activities which together add up to the completion of the project in a scheduled manner. Another form of risk is technical risk. This arises on account of technological changes and decision of the firm to embrace the technology or follow the policy of wait and watch. Most of the projects are undertaken to generate commercial profits and therefore how markets accept the product is always the most important factor. This is called as the market risk. A firm does not operate in isolation. It operates in an environment that surrounds it. As this environment cannot be constant, any change in the environment, whether technical, political, social, will impact the project. Thus, while appraising projects, all the risks should be analyzed and the careful and thoughtful decision should be taken.